Alright, got a little update. This is the 2006 uh, Cadillac DTS. And um, as you can see, factory wheels are sitting right here in my garage. So that must mean we got new tires. And then as we come over here, oh, little sneak peek right there. We'll walk over to this side because there's more room. And then check that out. We got some Vogue. Vogue tires. With the Dayton wheels. And they're real Daytons. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick that up but right there is the etched on the rim it says Dayton right there and then on the hub right there it says Dayton and it's got the serial number anyways they're real Dayton's real knockoffs and uh, Vogue tires wide track touring custom custom built radio for anybody wondering this setup is not cheap at all. 17 inch rim, 17 inch tire, same as factory size rim and tire. Factory tires are 225, 55, 17, and these tires are 225, or no, 235, I'm sorry. Yeah, 235, 55, 17. And that's what these Vogues are. And then we got another picture of them in the the sun they're still dirty but tires are dirty too they got dirty when they put them on but yeah that's that's the new wheels on the Cadillac Get the back. They look clean as fuck. Scrum man shit right here. $50,000 car, $5,000 rims, and $1,500 tires. It's doing big things right there. So. Yep, and just because I'm going to and show you, it's got heated seats, air conditioned seats, all kinds of shit. But uh, got the heated steering wheel. We got uh, that's for the parking sensors front, and then that little black thing on the roof in the back that's for the parking sensors in the rear we got OnStar all kinds of shit iPod hookup built in XM radio all kinds of controls for all the audio and cruise control on the wheel million way adjustable seats tweeters in the A pillars factory subwoofer up in the back window it's pretty dope Sweet car, it's plush, it's comfortable, and that's why I went with the Dayton's and Vogue's because it'll still ride smooth and clean. But, uh, yep, that's the update. Not gonna really do a whole lot more to this car except for probably, uh, you know, maybe some tint, very light, light tint, 70% tint. And then I was thinking about either replacing the factory subwoofer. Not sure if it's an 8 or a 10, but either way, I think it's an 8. You could go with like an 8W7 or a DD8 or something. Just to let it bang a little harder. It sounds pretty good stock, but the only other thing I was thinking was maybe two 18s in the trunk, but I think that's doing a little much. Way up.
five minute video that's long enough. All right.